Good day everyone. I welcome you all to another episode of our plumbing system design. In today's video, we will be proceeding to the water distribution system design. Basically, water distribution system design for MEP engineers is not as complicated as most people do perceive it. Because I could observe most people do make the mistake of assuming the design is like the conventional piping and instrumentation system. However, the major concern here is just to design the piping system, likewise the other basic amenities or facilities required for the building. So the best approach is to start from the site layout. So here is a site layout. To design for the water distribution system, you need to design and make provisions for the site water supply network. So if you are able to specify the best network for your water supply, from there you will be able to proceed to the internal network and eventually works on the external network. And for most projects, Although we have three types of water distribution system, we have the arterial loop, the grid and the tree. But for most buildings, we do use the tree configuration system of one. So you just have from your building like this, you just have a branch or tap. So let's say L, L enter and you have a branch like this. So you just tap. So we do call this one branch. And the one coming from your storage tank, we do call it service main. So in the nutshell, every water distribution system do start from the service main. So let's work on this site layout. So I will be creating a backup of the site, CP, enter, F8, just to have it on the same alignment. So here is our site layout now. So to achieve this, you need to specify where your service main will be coming from. And the main determinant for service main is either the storage system or the valve pit. And let me just say the valve pit is just like a subset of the storage tank. So let's assume for this our project now because we're having our main entrance here, our site entrance here. Let's do this. So because we're having our site entrance somewhere around this axis so let's place our water distribution so we have shops here we have shops here so let's assume this axis although it might not be professional enough okay so let's assume this place to be our storage tank we are using overhead storage tank here but another problem I'm having is that if I have my overhead storage tank here, let me show you. Okay, align. So if I have my overhead storage tank here, it will be difficult to construct. So it's not like an issue. So I would rather prefer to have my overhead storage tank somewhere around this axis. Let me say around this axis. So to make this simple, let me show you a project. So here is a sample project. We have this is my overhead storage tank, seven meter elevated, two by three thousand five hundred liter GP tank. So and I'm having my valve piece very close to its region. So and from my valve piece, I'm having my distribution network. So this is what I'm saying. This is my branch pipe. So I need to size this pipe. Likewise, my service main. So let's go back to our design, our project rather. Having specified where my service main will be coming from, the next thing is, is that you need to align your true knot, true knot. Because you see here, this knot as specified by the architect. So this was what is called true knot. But on my drawing here, I'm having my building oriented like this. However, on the side, it will be oriented like this. So it needs to specify your true knot. So to do that, 
just copy one of your plans cp so having copied it you come over here you can copy your building here cp again and come over here so as for me i prefer to create okay so having done that you copy this your building again and press al align enter so specify your source point your source point is your building how is it going to be on the site you specify it here specify the other point okay enter enter so let's delete this man so for this our project this is our true node with this you will be able to have the orientation of your building on the site so you can just copy this and place it somewhere as a part of so since we've been able to determine our true north that implies our water supply our service main will be coming from this axis of the building so now let's proceed to the internal network the first step is to place our valve regulator which is the conventional conduit valve so to achieve that is the symbol you come to your legend as always we have it here we must okay so i have one i've already split let me come over here okay so you copy ctrl c come to your project ctrl v Since our main will be coming from this axis, so I prefer placing it towards A and can have our internal network after that. So we have our conduit valve here. Copy. So from there, for this one too, so let's copy CP. Please. So another one here. Yeah. R O enter. R O enter. So let's repeat it here. R O enter. So having gotten that, one of the best approach instead of using the conventional line, I already have it in the legend I give out. I have my water supply layer here. Yeah water supply so the standard color is blue and we have the line type the line type i'm not having it here okay let me copy from here but hope you know how to design your line type because sometimes you might have different type of pipes the gen Enter. I do not share. So regen. Okay, PSLT zero. I do not share. So here is it. You come over here. Load type order. Can increase the size, but should come now. Okay, L. Okay, it's coming. It's only given that notion. So let's delete this. So now you draw your branch main. So you connect your branch main to the valve here from here. F3. So water supply is always on 90 degree. So So we have one eight so sorry. for our kitchen. So this is what is called branch main.
So because this project has two units and this is our ground floor, so like I will only do one and you do the other one. The next thing is to do is to connect your internal network. But before that, let's reduce this our line type scale. So instead of having 20, let's have 15 here. No. So to connect it, WC to connect it to this network. So these are the internal network goes. Another one to the this. And here is the symbol for hot water heater. Basically, we have two types of hot water heater, right? The normal electric water heater system, which is this one. So we also have boilers and sometimes we use the instantaneous system. So it's like a complex topic on the one which I will be elucidating. So we we'll connect to this our water heater now. And having gotten that I explained this is our shower head. Our shower head is towards this axis. So having done that you need to design for the hot water heater too. So you change your line type to hot water. Okay. So from this our hot water now we have L enter. We have a connection to our washing and basin. So we still have another connection CP to our shower. Chamfer this this. So this is how we do design for the internal network. So let's do another one at this place too. We have our branch main here. From our branch main, let's change the line to water line type layer rather. Sorry. So from this our valve, we have this our main line here. So we mostly do place our pipes inside the wall. So I'm also having my shower head here too for this one. So L. So my shower will be hung towards this axis. So like this. So I will only be using a flexible pipe to connect it. So and for my shower, we design our hot water system too. Hot water. So L enter again. So hope you observe using this conventional autocad is more easier. In as much you know how to pave your way, unlike using the main AutoCAD MEP. However, for complex design, you will have to be using the main software. So, another one like this. And we join the two lines. So, this is how we do design for the internal water supply network. So, let's repeat the same thing here. Code water. Here is it L enter so you connect from here and our connection goes towards this axis. For this our these are visitor toilets, we are not using water heater. So L enter. So even if your project has hundred floors, you'll have to do the internal network first before proceeding to the next stage